Moussaka is a dish. Did I say moussaka? In Greece, we call it moussaka. Moussaka is a dish that was adopted by Greeks from the Arabs when they brought eggplant into our country. We took it, we layered it up, we put a bechamel on top from the French, yet it's one of Greece's most famous dishes. Ella, let's go make it. We're gonna start with the eggplant, which will take the longest to be done. We want to keep the skin on, and we're gonna slice it three quarter inch thick. Some families fry the eggplant, others bake it. We are going to arrange the eggplant on a tray and then we're going to drizzle with some olive oil. We will add coarse salt, some pepper and we're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit until they get nice and golden brown. We're going to do this process three times, two trays at a time. Onto the ground beef stew. We're gonna turn on the heat on high. Now that the pan is hot, we're gonna add some olive oil. We're gonna add one onion that I have already cut in small dice. Some salt, some pepper. We wanna stir this up and give it a lot of nice brown color. Time for the water. This will soak the sugar out of the onions and make it sweet. This way we'll never add sugar again. It's time for the ground beef. We're gonna add it in the pan, and with a wooden spoon, we are gonna take out any kind of lumps that it has. At this point, let me also add some salt and some pepper. It's the perfect time because it will absorb the salt inside, and it's not only gonna coat the outside part. It's time for the tomato paste, the base for the sauce. We want the tomato paste to come in straight contact with the pan. This will take out all the bitterness because again, we don't want any sugar in this sauce. Great, it's time to deglaze it with some nice red wine. The red wine will take out any bits and pieces that it might have in the bottom of the pan, which is all the flavor of the meat. Mm, whiskey, we're here to smell this. It's time for the tomato dice. Okay, it's about a 12 ounce can. A little bit more salt for the tomato. The tomato doesn't have any salt. Some pepper. And my grandma's secret ingredients. One bay leaf. One cinnamon stick. And nutmeg. Stir everything together. Now check at this point if your sauce needs a little bit more water because we're gonna cook it for another 20 minutes on a low fire. Now it's time to take out a pan because we're gonna fry some potatoes for the moussaka. Let's peel the potatoes. The potatoes give a really nice and good sturdy base for the moussaka and will absorb any excess liquid that the sauce might have. We're gonna cut them half inch thick. Now we have to fry them. But first we have to pat them dry. We wanna take out all the excess liquid from the potatoes because we don't want the oil to react and attack. Let's try the oil if it's hot enough. Mm, I see it bubbling, it looks great. Let's check with the knife if the potatoes are ready. Fantastic. And we're gonna season with some salt and pepper. Time for the bechamel with the egg yolks. Now, in a large pot, we're gonna add one and a half liter of milk. And we're gonna put this in a really low heat because we don't want it to stick in the bottom. And now on the small pot, we're gonna add one cup of olive oil. Now what we're making here is a roux. A roux is a thickening agent that is composed by flour and by a fat. French use butter, but in my grandma's kitchen that is translated into olive oil. 
When the oil is hot, we're gonna add one cup of flour. We're gonna stir this together and we want it to get a really nice brown color. We wanna toast the flour and give it a really nice nutty flavor. And that is my little secret for moussaka. However, the more you cook the roux, the less effective it is. That's why I always make more and I leave it on the side. I add it to the milk instead of the other way around, so I can control the roux. We're gonna add a little at a time. We wanna allow this, the bechamel, to come to a boil. This way, we will see how the roux takes effect. If it needs more, we have some more to add, right? Be careful, you have to stir it constantly because we don't want it to get burned. The consistency looks fantastic, perfect. I'm gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna add two eggs. And we're gonna rapidly stir it. It's nice and velvety now and it's gonna have a really nice body with the egg. Now, I'm gonna add half a cup of mijitra, the dry salty cheese, a little bit of salt, a lot of pepper, and a lot of nutmeg, the ultimate flavor of moussaka. In the bottom of the pan, we're gonna arrange the potato, the base. We want the potatoes to overlap one another, so the full bottom is completely covered. We do the same thing with the eggplant. Now for the beef stew. Some people put it as it is, but I had a little secret. I put some of the bechamel inside the meat sauce, and this will make it nice and very silky. Layer the meat sauce. Remember, we're gonna do three layers of the moussaka. We're gonna add another layer of the eggplant. This time, we're gonna put the eggplant the opposite way. If you put it first like this, then you're gonna go like that. Let's also put the mizitra. And time for the last layer of the eggplant. Remember, we're going the other way around. We are building a house. On to the final touch, the bechamel. Again, we're gonna put some mizitra on top, which will give it a nice brown color. And nutmeg. Okay, done. Let's go put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 40 minutes or until it gets a really nice brown color on top. Is it moussaka or is it moussaka? Is it Greek or is it Arab? Well, who cares, because it tastes fantastic. Visit us on GreekRecipes.tv for more divine green food. <laughs>